the new space race to get back to the moon is firmly underway. And while there have been some successes, it's not all going to plan. Even the Japanese Space Agency's successful soft landing in January 2024 still resulted in the lander losing power within three hours because it landed on its nose. And NASA has repeatedly had to push back its timeline for getting humans back to the moon, with another setback when the Peregrine moon lander ended its mission in flames over the Pacific. Which might all seem a bit strange. This was something we were supposed to have cracked over half a century ago. In just a three-year period between 1969 and 1972, 12 humans on six separate missions literally walked on the moon. So why does it seem like we're worse at this than over 50 years ago? But people say all the time space is hard. It still is. Well, first, hindsight can be rose-tinted. We, we think back during the Apollo era and just think everything was a great success. Well, it wasn't. People have forgotten about the failures on the robotic moon landings of the 1960s. The Soviets uh, tried many times to land on the moon, and a number of those missions crashed. The crew of Apollo 11 barely landed successfully on the moon. They had some computer failures. Neil Armstrong had to take manual control, and he put the lander down with um, only a second or two of fuel left. That's not as well appreciated on how close things were. Historically, you'd have to say Apollo was kind of a fluke. It was very premature. It was created by the racing dynamic between the US and the Soviet Union. And we would never would have gone to the moon without that political impulse to say, we must beat them there. Even so, by the 1970s, there was a failure rate of about 20% of missions. In the 2020s, that number is closer to 45%. So what else is at play? Part of it is funding. It took 5% of the entire national budget for NASA to be able to do those landings on the moon. Imagine what we could do with that amount of money. But with NASA's budget slashed over the years, it's now collaborating with private companies for moon missions. NASA at this point has not attempted to send any of its own spacecraft to the moon. It's entirely using commercial companies to land on the moon now. We've had 50 years to develop the technologies. They've become cheaper. They've become better understood. But at the same time, you have all of these companies that are just learning to, uh, to do this. And there are now many more new players in the race, with China, Israel, Japan, and India also getting involved. Every country and every company that's developing spacecraft is in some way starting over, you know, from scratch. You can't just take them off the shelf. You have to go out and build new ones. The moon is hot again for the first time in 50 years. So we haven't had a lot of experience landing on the moon. We have had experience landing on Mars, landing on asteroids. I wouldn't say that um, we're out of practice as much as we just have a number of new participants. So failure is part of the game and it's not a bad thing. This is the way it's done. This is the way technology development has always been done. On top of that, the cost of failure has massively reduced. Individual companies can send uh, dozens of payloads to the moon on a single launch for a order of $100 million, which is, which is, for you and me, that's still a lot of money. Uh, but for uh, comparison to the maybe tens of billions of dollars that it, the equivalent would have been in the 1960s, you know, this is affordable. And it's important to note that it's not been failure across the board. The Chinese succeeded on the first try and they've never had a landing failure. So Chinese seem to be doing very well. And after initial failure, India successfully touched down on the moon in 2023. So despite the failures, the future of moon landings is bright. This time it will be sustainable. That is, we will become a permanent space bearing civilization. And, you know, in 10 years from now, it'll be almost boring to see launches going to the moon, landing, bringing material back, and then try to scratch your head and, and remember, when did this not happen?